Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to try out a little experiment with y'all. Um, so I feel like my videos have been getting over long lately, and granted a big part of that is the fact that uh, I can't seem to keep myself from talking in volumes and volumes and volumes. But one way I'm thinking of to cope with it is to actually start splitting up my tech blogs into videos that feature individual tricks rather than having a whole mess of them for each given week. That means that I'll be posting more videos and I'll be posting them more often. They'll probably be covering less ground, but uh, I kind of think that having a three minute video waiting for you in your YouTube subscription rather than a ten minute video is uh, probably a, a, more, uh, a more efficient way of passing on information. So, if you guys like this, let me know. If you don't like this, please let me know. And uh, away with the show. So, um, we've all seen this move. It has been done to death. Um, of intrigue to me is this variant of it, where you stop at a right angle, which dawns on me that you can actually perform the entire move in a series of right angles, right? So what can you do with your momentum in cases like this? Well, the first one that dawned on me, at least, was when you come over to one side and one hand has got momentum behind it and the other doesn't, the hand that's got momentum behind it, you can do a pendulum stall up, and it'll put enough momentum behind the other hand to get it rotating, right? Which you can then pendulum out and get back into your original position, at which point you can repeat the entire pattern again, if you so choose. All are kind of right angles or three quarters of right angles, right? Um, the other possibility I'm seeing here is da -da -da. so when you come around, right now we're doing the pendulum stall uh, up to the inside, right? If instead you move to the outside, there's a cool little opportunity to do a right angle up stall, like so, right? In which case, when you come down, you still have the option. Of switching into that pattern. Predictably, having a hard time pulling that off with my lefty. Okay, and my righty. But at least for the time being, I'm just kind of liking the way this combo plays out. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, leave me comments, let me know what you think of this little experiment. Thanks for watching!